All right, I just made an entire uh, YouTube video and I found out my microphone was turned off. Um, well, I think I'm getting feedback in my earphones, so that's good. At least we now have sound. So last night I was in Vancouver. I was in Vancouver, in Victoria, and uh, Vancouver Island, and I crossed back into America. And for the first time in my life, crossing from Canada to America, I did not get the special treatment. Usually I get pulled aside and get questioned for like an hour and they have to search through all my stuff. Um, for people that don't know me, I actually have the same name as a guy whose alias is, excuse me, the same name as an alias of a guy who is on the America's Most Wanted list. I have had that since I was 18 years old, so I, I, I can't do like quick, in, quick check-ins at the airport or anything like that. Um... It used to be after September 11th, they had to give me like full on questioning, like the police would come out and ask me where I'm going and everything like that. Um, and then they have to hand search all of my stuff and, and it was never a fun experience. Now they can take the, uh, the, the license and look back and they, I guess they have the picture of the guy or something. I'm not even supposed to know actually. I was flirting with the girl behind the counter and she told me what was up. Um, but now they can, uh, check the picture behind the counter of the guy and then they throw my, um, stuff through a special scanner so it's easy now but for the first time crossing from Canada into America he just asked me the basic questions and he looked in my vehicle and he led us on through so I was stoked because I actually get really nervous crossing the Canadian border you would think I would get nervous crossing the Mexico border but I don't crossing the Mexico border is totally different uh, they basically just pass people through they're like where were you born okay good enough and they let you go I don't know why probably um, because everyone knows why people go to Mexico. Um, <laughs> and I love Mexico. It's like a second home to me. Um, so, yeah. Tomorrow we are going to head to Idaho to visit a couple of friends. Um, they're in a production over there. And then I'm going to either head to the Oregon coast or head to the Oregon vortex. Um, and then we'll head to the coast and we're going to take the one down. Probably go. Uh, we might stay in San Francisco. I don't know yet. I have a friend who's going to probably be in San Francisco. Um, but I've seen San Francisco like a million times, so it's no big deal if we miss that. And I'm getting really sick of cities, actually. They they all just start to look like this, look the same. And I would like to drive down Big Sur. We might hit Carmel and um, Monterey because I've been there in a really, really long time. Um, and then drive down the coast, maybe hit the Winchester Mansion, maybe hit the um, the Hearst Castle because I've never seen the Hearst Castle. And I don't know, it's supposed to be amazing. Um... I'm still not used to being able to see myself while I talk in this. I'm trying to just stare at the uh, the um, the webcam. So, yeah, we should be back in L.A. in about a week so I can get back to work because this has been a nice break, but I'm, I'm pretty sick of not working right now. Uh, so I'm looking forward to uh, doing some fun stuff down there. So I just, I'm in a Motel 6 that happened to have internet service, so I thought I would make a quick web video for no reason, and I doubt anyone even cares, but I was bored. Alright, so I hope everyone out in, in the interweb is doing good.